Hello and welcome. I'm Gloria McDonald and if you don't know me, I teach and train network marketers and affiliate marketers on how to create wealth, abundance, prosperity for you and your business. So I started my first multiple seven figure business about 15 years ago and I'm in the process of creating my second multiple seven figure business. And I'm wondering if you're anything like me. Do you have a shelf of books? that you just never get around to reading. Well, recently I pulled out a book off that bookshelf right behind me that I probably had for about 10 years or so. And I started uh, reading it ages ago. I know this is backwards for you and I apologize, but it's Creating Affluence by Deepak Chopra. And I don't know exactly what it was, but there was something that drew me to that book several weeks ago. So I pulled it off the shelf and what I've learned in creating a multiple seven-figure business and being in the process of creating a second multiple figure seven-figure business, hey guys, so great to see you here, Tori and Nancy, um, is that there are ebbs and flows in business. Uh, there will always be ups and downs and there is just a rhythm to business, like there's a rhythm to the universe, there are rhythms to seasons, you know, depending upon where you live in the world right now. Right now we're well, here in Toronto, we're still in winter. We had snow today, there's snow on the ground, but but there are signs that spring might be coming sometime soon. Hey, Emily, hey, Mary, so great to see you guys. So there are just natural ebbs and flows. There are ups and downs in business. And I think what happens so often, and the reason why people don't get to that level of prosperity and then that level of affluence that they're really looking for, is that when there is an ebb, when there's a down, they give up and they think they're never going to be able to get there. So anyway, I was reading this book, Creating Affluence by Deepak Chopra, actually last night, and there were a couple of quotes that I wanted to share with you today because they really had an impact on me. So the first one is from the forward and it says, wealth consciousness is so much more than simply having the ability to make money. It's a mindset that involves seeing life not as a struggle, but as a magical adventure where our needs are met with grace and ease. It includes the ability to see beauty wherever you go, to have gratitude as your primary emotion, and an open heart to all you meet. Wealth consciousness is a state of mind, a sense, not a believing, but a real knowing that what we need is available to us. And I love that quote because it really is about wealth consciousness. It's not, yes, it's great to have all the tools and all the, the techniques and everything and the knowledge to create a business. And you can have all of that and not be able to create wealth and abundance if you don't have the wealth consciousness. So that's the first quote. And then the second one really hit home to me. So I wanna read this to you. And you may or may not agree with this. It resonated with me. And if you don't agree with it, fine. Take it, listen to it, let it wash over you. And if it doesn't re resonate with you, fine. But <laughs> here it is. Create as much wealth as your heart desires. Fulfill every material and non-material desire. Create wealth and spend it. Spend it lavishly and then share it and give it to others. Give to your children, to your family, to your relatives, to your friends, to society, and to the world. For wealth is of the universe and does not belong to us. We belong to it. And it's that last sentence. I, I sat in chair in my living room last night probably for five or 10 minutes, just soaking up that last sentence because it hit me and I'll read it to you again. For wealth is of the universe. It does not belong to us. We belong to it. So again, that's from Deepak Chopra's book, Creating Affluence. And this is an old book. I didn't look up the year he wrote it, but he wrote it quite a while ago. But <clears throat> that last sentence to me, that wealth does not belong to us because I think so often we think about, you know, getting money, getting money, bringing money in, getting more customers, bringing money in, getting more customers, getting, getting, getting. And then we have a pot, let's say a pot of energetically of the amount of money that we brought in or people we believe we can bring in to our teams as customers, whatever it is we're trying to do in our business. We have 
a pot, let's say, that it's like, okay, we've got to get this and we've got to bring it into us. But wealth does not belong to us. It's of the universe. We belong to it. And to me, that idea that we belong to wealth, we belong to abundance, we belong to the universe, it's just so expansive. There are no limitations. There are absolutely no limitations. So I hope you found that helpful today. Um, and again, I highly recommend Deepak Chopra's book, Creating Affluence. It's a tiny little book. I'll grab it again. It's just a tiny little thing. Um, very easy to read. It's just like 107 pages. Um, and it, he wrote it quite a while ago, but you know, it's just packed. Absolutely. Chill. You can see I've got all the tabs and everything and lots of highlights in here. It's just packed full of great ideas and inspiration and the subtitle of it is the a to z to a richer life so creating affluence the a to z of a richer life by deepak chopra highly recommend it and if you want some tools to help create affluence in your life then today i want to give you my gift of my free guide mastering conversations that close and this is these are all the tools in the exact questions that I ask prospects, prospective customers, clients, when they come to me so that I can really create a connection with them, really understand what it is they want to create in their lives so that I can be the path, I can show them how I can help them create the path to move forward with whatever they want to create in their life. So click on the link above or below this video to pick up your free copy of my Mastering Conversations The Close Guide. Have a fantastic day and a fast, fantastic weekend, everybody. Bye.